So there are so many customizations, but I'm going to, for one or two examples only because there are seven minutes only and I want to finish early because already time is much. So the first case where uh, we saw this, this type of the fracture and surgeon tried to put an intramedullary nail and somehow he could not. And what happened, let us see in the next X-ray and the external fixator and the, this is an open fracture. This was the condition when it presented to us with the external fixator with the, this uh, busting of the canal just because of the passing the intramedullary nail at time, uh, that time. And this got infected. So the whole canal is infected. So we needed to pass an antibiotic coated nail, but the metaphyseal region, as you see, is very small. So we need a much more holes here and we need a, uh, uh, that nail where the, the, there is no slippage of the bone cement. So we measured the length of the nail customized for that particular patient and the canal uh, pre-op on the C arm. And then we made a nail where this type of the crisscross has been done on the nail and special holes are made here, four holes to get the interlocking that the locking rotational stability in the distal part. Uh, that was the modification done for this patient. Modification can be done in any direction. And this antibiotic nail was made. Plastic surgeon was ready with us. We debrided completely. We made this fixation. And this is a follow-up X-ray. And the plastic surgeon has at the same time done a flap. So it was covered. So local antibiotic de delivery, stabilization, and the problem of smooth nail, the slippage of uh, cement was a problem. The fact is more debonding with the smooth nail. So less debonding with the rough nail, that was the idea. Similarly, you know, with the flexible nails, this is a common situation when the patient presents in a late hours, after eight, nine, 10 hours with the open tibia. So we do not do the extra fixator and we do a flexible nails with the cement antibiotic coating as a prophylactic uh, for an infection, probable uh, of infection. So here, how to do with the flexible nails? These flexible nails are smooth. So we make a small cuts <clears throat> on these flexible nails with the cutter, jumbo cutter. And then this bone cement sticks on that very well. And you can see that the layer after that, even the tensile part recoil flexibility is maintained with this flexible nail. <clears throat> and it has been introduced. You can see the cements here. And this can give a primary fixation. <clears throat> and with that also, the flap can be done. With the external fixator, the flap cannot be done. The flap done by the plastic surgeon, and it helps it. Another situation where there is a big skin loss and presented with this situation, humerus, where again a flexible nail with this uh, a thin layer of the uh, antibiotic coating for, to prevent the infection. And later on, the plastic surgeon does the split thickness graft. And that can be salvaged very well, like this here. You can see the plastic surgeon has done it, and it has been removed. The third part of this is we are doing just now MEPO plating for the humerus anterior breech plate, where there are holes in between also. The ready-made plates are like this, long plate where we open up proximally, we open up distally, and we pass, make a tunnel and pass this. Now, this has started since last two, three years, but now the patients are coming in some of the uh, problem uh, cases, we need to remove the plate. At that time, the typical problem is, this is the problem, the MEPO removal is not possible because the blunt and blind dissection will harm because there will be a soft tissue tethering in these holes. And that many times you have to manipulate like this. And that time, exactly there are nows and structures are here. So there is always a problem. So you have to go open up completely. It is a MEPO implantation, but it is fully open extraction of the implant. So in this condition, what we thought is, why not to make, uh, have a, some solution for this? So we tried, and it is on the mechanical testing under that th there is a big hole here and the big hole here, but in between it is smooth. There are no holes. 
so there is no bondage of the soft tissue in between and these holes are made such a way that you can have a long span with the smaller plate the angle screw is possible with this and you can have a fixation like this with even a uh, increase the span of the fixation with uh, this plate and removal will not become difficult that is the hypothesis let us see what is happening thank you very much mm -hmm.